Okay, fam, these are five items you should have in your uh, daily intake, especially if you're a vegan, because this will bolster your food supply in terms of what you are missing when you're cutting out many of the carbs and many of the processed foods. You're going to need additional proteins and additional food sources to make up for all the foods that you drop out of your intake or your diet to make it simple. One of my favorites are these here. All right, these are organic yellow corn tortillas. All right, this is kind of replaces your flour tortillas that you would, uh, you know, usually be using white flour tortillas or even the wheat flour. You're still dealing with flour, you're still dealing with wheat. But these are corn tortillas um, with just a little bit of oil, a little bit of heat. They are very uh, bendable and they will serve excellent purposes uh, in terms of replacing what you might have had in terms of a burrito or tortilla with a flour tortilla. All right, I make um, veggie rolls with these among some other things. Um, so these are a good replacement meal. They're also dense. Uh, I believe they're about 100 calories, 60 calories per per roll or for, per tortilla. So you can you know put together an easy 120 with two of those. Another is your avocado. Seems to be simple, but an avocado is a dense mineral packed food item that you can replace a lot of fats with. Um, you can also replace a lot of creams and sauces with this. With just a little bit of avocado, maybe coconut milk, or just regular water, or a little bit of um, non-dairy cream. This can replace a lot of things uh, that you drop out of your intake when you switch to a vegan uh, intake. All right, these are coconut flakes, of course, from raw organic coconut. Now, let me tell you why a lot of people sleep on coconut. All right, coconut has what is called medium chain fatty acids. These medium chain fatty acids break down and are metabolized by the liver into ketones that are beneficial to the brain. This is a little known fact about coconut. And this is why I use it in a lot of my meals. You can sprinkle it over salad. You can easily add 200 calories to your salad. Um, I put it in my oatmeal. I put it in some of my uh, quinoa mixes. You can use this for a wide variety of, uh, of uses. But it's very good, very beneficial, as I said. The fats break down into ketones, and, and this is if you're on a low-carb uh, intake. The fats break down into ketones that are specifically beneficial to the brain. So coconut, very important, very dense. Hemp seed, okay, non-GMO, of course. This gives you your full-spectrum amino acid profile. This is a complete protein family. A complete protein. Three tablespoons equals 10 grams of protein. I usually use four to five on, again, my salads. I put this in my oatmeal. I put this on my quinoa. I put this on my uh, peas and lentils when I have them because they resemble a nutty taste. Um, I put them in some of my shakes, only my hemp shakes, uh, which I use protein powder as well because the broccoli and kale that I use in those shakes kind of complement the hemp shake. I don't want to say complement, that's the wrong word. But the nutty taste of the hemp seed doesn't off balance the hemp shake, if you know what I mean. And I might not be saying that right, but um, just a little bit of experimentation experience with mixing shakes, uh, frosties, and whatnot. So this is invaluable. Again, this is a complete protein source. You can add protein to your salads, turn your salads in, into non-protein foods into protein foods. 10 grams of protein per three tablespoons. I usually use four or five. That gives me about uh, 15, 12 to 15, 16 grams of protein. And with my salad, I have uh, walnuts, and that's five. So, you know, with a salad, with uh, four tablespoons of this, you got 20 grams of protein, all right? So this is the way you make up the lack of protein from cutting out meats and cutting out a lot of other um, starchy foods when you start to go vegan. 
and we have our hemp protein all right once again a very critical component I use this in my uh, shake recipes and it, mostly these uh, the hemp protein is used exclusively for my shakes I don't use the protein powder for anything else uh, that's the reason why I have both um, you can use these with your salads as I said before some soups oatmeals etc um, the protein powder it's not really cut out for that but this is perfect for your shakes I actually have a hemp shake protein video on my channel that you can refer to as to how this is used I usually have two shakes a day I try to have three um, so basically I usually only get around to two though but three to four would be optimal for anyone who has a high protein need um, as I do but again I'm a little lacking on that I have to work on that these are some critical components to making up for the foods that you drop out when you go to a vegan diet because they're dense they're very mineral dense as well the avocado the coconut the hemp both mineral dense full amino acid spectrum from the hemp protein powder and the seeds all right healthy fats from the coconut and the avocado and again you have your these are very versatile so that's one of the reasons why I like these you can make all types of wraps with these um, and they kind of um, your cheap burritos um, very low carb as well these are five foods and I will come up with more or I, sh I should say I shall uh, show more in, in future, future videos but these are five foods that will keep you um, busy if you know how to interface them and, and, and be versatile in your intake or your diet and how to uh, kind of mix and match your food sources and your meal plans. Alright, so till next time.